So good morning from Castellina in Chianti. You see the sun in my face. So I'm having breakfast at a hotel here. I feel like I felt like I should take hotel to let it all uh, in. Uh, and that was a really good decision. I try to will try to describe what uh, happened uh, yesterday. So I left uh, Florence uh, out in the crowd, <laughs> lots of tourists. Uh, so some slow walking, I, uh, slow running I had to do. Uh, and then I came across uh, a living statue <laughs> and that was a small little gift and um, then I went on to leave Florence and get out in on the countryside uh, and I felt a bit tired but for the rest it went quite okay my feet everything and my body uh, it felt really good uh, so yeah, I came across lots of beautiful views, winding roads, uh, small paths um, and it was um, really nice. Uh, also some long roads but uh, they only took for a few kilometers uh, and then I got back in, in forest, nature, parks again. So I decided to stick my last Lucia poster. Uh, about uh, taking opportunities for the future, which I'm now doing. Uh, well, opportunities to make future. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. And then I had a beautiful talk with Piet from Maaslands Radio. Um, and he got me a new nickname. <laughs> So, for now, I'm also a coon, but I'm also Constantino, like constantly, Constantino, I cannot speak the word, constantly running. <laughs> and it's more Italian, so yeah, uh, that's a nice, a nice little, how do you call that, nice little gift, uh, I did not expect. So then I went on uh, and well I thought of um, Pete a bit because uh, he's having a rough time uh, so I let that little bit into my run and I'm sure he will find the strength to yeah. Uh, I don't want to be uh, become uh, too personal, but I'm sure he will find. Uh, I'm, he already did find a way to find his strength, so that's nice. And yeah, then at one point, uh, I came across so many things. But the thing I remember is I met some elderly people. And we had a talk in Italian English somehow, and a woman who was probably 90 <laughs> was flirting with me. <laughs> uh, uh, that was cool. She liked my beard. I said, Yeah, Forrest Gump, so running. And we shook hands, and that was really nice. Um, and at one point, I just uh, was in a beautiful place uh, surrounded by uh, wine fields, olive trees, beautiful views and I was like wow I'm really grateful that I can do this and it's so overwhelming and then I got to a fence which I could not pass so I thought, hey, shortcut, which was a very long cut. <laughs> so um, time 
uh, it's not really an issue but I lost well I lost a lot of time um, and it's an issue it's only an issue when it's becoming dark uh, so I met two ladies at a villa who told me uh, about the path I could take there is a path to Paso uh, but then you have to like find a way to cross uh, the fences and I did <laughs> and then I got there uh, and then I was like I should take the main road uh, because uh, there were more um, wine fields uh, vineyards uh, I should call them uh, and I didn't want to do this again because it took me too much time uh, and then at one point I was in Grevi in Chiante and I was really hungry so I took a pizza there met a beautiful host uh, which uh, who helped me a lot and then he at one point it was already around 9.30 uh, and I still had to run across roads that were like state roads, lots of cars in the night, no walking path, no running path, so no biking path. So I thought, okay, uh, I learned from the past <laughs> uh, um, and I should not do this. So I asked him like, should we uh, uh, can i call a taxi i could not uh too expensive he said because these taxis are coming from siena or florence uh, but instead he took me to the hotel uh, we got a drink uh, before uh, because there's actually was someone driving with me or dri driving a car <laughs> So I think I ran only 32 kilometers, uh, but in the end, uh, when it becomes too dangerous, that's where it stops for me. Uh, I should not risk my life again. <laughs> I already did that too much. Uh, so this is good. And at the hotel, we took a selfie. And I'm really grateful for this. Uh, so this is probably my longest video yet but I, and I left a lot of beautiful things out it was such beautiful to run uh, to all these vineyards views, forests, nature and I'm gonna continue breakfast now um, because in this hotel they were really friendly really trying to help a vegan positive runner <laughs> uh, to Palermo uh, yeah. so I'm grateful for that as well and let's leave it at this because it's already getting to nine minutes <laughs> well it was such a crazy ride uh, and I will remember this for sure. And as the woman at uh, one moment said uh, for refill and a cappuccino, she said you should be really grateful that you can do this because a lot of people cannot. Uh, and she is actually quite true. Um, um, yeah, that's that's a true story. I'm very grateful that I can do this, that I can run. Uh, all the way to Europe <laughs> and let's see what happens next bye bye